hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a boxy charm unboxing for the month of march so here is the box and i am super excited to show you guys what i got because this month is bomb all right so of course this month um the theme is um basically st patrick's day vibes boxycharm always sends you a card in your subscription box that way you know what you got in your box um, a description of the product as well as the um, original value of that item as if you would go out and buy it on your own i do not have anything on my eyes today because i do want to test out um, one of the products in the box if you guys do not know what boxycharm is basically it is a subscription box that you get once a month every single month they have three different boxes basically that you can get you can get the base box which is $25 a month or you can get the premium box and then you can also sign up for the boxy lux which I believe that one is four times um, a year on top of your premium or your base box um, so they do have different options I have the base box which is $25 26 would change once a month. They take it out on the first of every month um, And then you usually get your box usually be for me I usually get it between the 10th and 15th of every month um, and you get five full-size products and It's a mixture of like skincare makeup Sometimes they put a little bit of more like lifestyle products in and like tools before we move on if you haven't already joined the family i would love for you to subscribe hit that notification bell as well as give this video a thumbs up that way i know you guys are enjoying the content that i am uploading guys my daughter did not go to sleep until like 12 o'clock basically and then i woke up a little after four how to stay laying in bed with her though until she um like went back to sleep because she was starting to like move around and wake up and starting to cry so i didn't get out of bed until like closer to five um but i was basically awake a little after four so if the lighting's a little weird i only have one ring light up i do not have my two side ring lights up ring lights up oh my god i'm so tired um but anyways it's because i just didn't feel like setting everything up honestly i'm tired i have four hours of sleep and I'm tired. Sorry guys that I got a little lazy, but it's just like, you know, it's a boxy charm unboxing. So I feel like these videos are a little bit more laid back. Um, but yeah, okay. So the first thing that I got in my box that I will not be trying in this video is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. Um, it's supposed to be a calming, hydrating cream. And this was my item of choice. So every month you do get to choose one of your items in the base box um, option. And this was the item that I did choose for my March box. I am super excited for this. Right now I'm using the pharmacy one that I got in another box um, that I already uploaded for you guys. So I am using that one right now. I cannot. Oh, I had a little plastic on. Oh my God. Oh my god, I cannot wait to try this, but I mean the freaking packaging is so freaking cute and just looks so like Bougie, you know what I mean? I don't know, but I really like that and I'm so excited for that product and this is worth $39 That is crazy. So I'm excited that this was a choice to put in the box um, it says a soothing lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging pores. That's good It's basically really good for sensitive skin blended with banana chia seed magnesium turmeric turmeric is really good if you have acne prone skin um, And sicka. It's your recipe for hydrated healthy looking skin. So I'm excited for that. The next thing in my box is this wet brush cleaning system with silicone rubbing pad. And this is from Lavish. So this is kind of cute that it's in the box. I mean, I would have preferred something else, but I mean, I'm not complaining really because just this alone costs way more than what I paid for the box. So, so this actually is worth $15, which is kind of pricey. It's like a little tiny bar of soap. In a silicone pad so 
I think that's a little pricey for what it's worth, but it's probably just the name brand. But anyways, um, a convenient brush cleaning system to quickly and easily remove makeup residue from cosmetic brushes. A textured silicone pad stores nicely inside the container. So I feel like this is actually nice for if you're on vacation for maybe like a week and you need to clean your makeup brushes in the hotel room or something. This is like a nice little convenient thing to have. In the house, I feel like, what's the point? You know, like you don't really need a system like this, but I guess it is cute. So this is your bar soap that they give you. It's in the little tan, kit. Um, it's in the tin. And then the um, little silicone pad is like basically like suction cupped into the top of the lid. Um, so if you got this in your box and you're not really finding the pad It's actually up in the lid and it looks like you can remove it. It just looks like it's like suctioned Yeah, so it's like suction so you can like suction it to your sink Or you can just leave it in your in here and use it that way. So that's cute Next thing in my box is from carb and this is the lip oil So we did get a like li like a pigmented lip gloss um and like lip liner duo um and i forgot which boxy charm it was which box it was in but i do remember getting something from this brand so this is worth twenty dollars it says say goodbye to dry and thirsty say goodbye to dry and thirsty and hello to juicy hydrated lips your lips will love this non-sticky instant burst of hydration that comes in six different tints swipe this formula on for comfortable juicy lips all day long and again 20 bucks so i know different people were getting different um, colors and scents so not everyone is getting the same one this one is like a cute blue one i hope that my lips aren't going to look bluish like i just got done eating like a blue popsicle but this one is blue raspberry so we are going to be applying this then oh my god this the scent brings me back to my childhood like i feel like i had a lip gloss with this scent that is so weird but that brings me back to my childhood another thing that i got in my box that i was super excited to have in my box and i was hoping that it would be in my box it is the maven beauty rose water setting spray um and the reason that i wanted this in my box is because i saw someone like who also had it in their box do like a little tester because what it's supposed to do is make your makeup transfer proof and i mean come on we're wearing a mask all the time so who what who doesn't want that but she basically put foundation on her hand and then sprayed it um and then she did a, a spot without the spray just the foundation so she smudged the foundation that didn't have the spray and then the the, the the spot that did have a spray it wouldn't move it, it wouldn't smudge it wouldn't budge um so i'm excited for this and i did not set my face for the second time i did set my face when i originally put my concealer and my um and my foundation so nothing was creasing on me and so i can apply my powders but i just used the flower beauty um hydrating mist so that does not make your makeup transfer proof at all but once i applied my highlighter my bronzer and my blush i did not set anything after that so we i'm excited to see how that is uh so it says set your intentions and your makeup with this ultra lifting antioxidant packed rose water setting spray mist all over your finished look mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours this is $22. So I'm excited that it's only $22. I know 22 can be a little bit pricey for a setting spray when you can get like a drugstore one for a lot cheaper. But if this works the way that it says and it does not smudge, I will be repurchasing this. And I hate falling in love with products that are like so expensive that I really don't see myself repurchasing because of the price tag. But that seems affordable enough for me to repurchase if i really do like it i need more coffee last but not least is the lime crime venus 3 eyeshadow palette it is a 38 dollar value this palette is filled with rupturous lilac rose gold mauve and earthy brown shades the ultra buttery formula sweeps on richly pigmented color that doesn't fade or fall out 
this dreamy lavender and rose gold box is graced with venus herself okay so we're gonna open her up and we're gonna do a quick look this is what the palette looks like it looks so freaking pretty it really does look like a super pretty palette i don't really feel like i have one very similar to this and i don't have any eyeshadow palettes at all from lime crime i did have like one or two dupes um that i got from beauty creations i think but i think it was beauty creations i don't remember actually you do get a nice mirror in the palette as well i'm actually going to use the shade right here which is dreamy and really we're just going to kind of just test this out it's only a little teeny tiny bit of fallout I do not have any primer on my lid. My lids are so dry. I feel like everything is just so dry. I need to drink way more water because my skin is really showing. I have eczema flare-ups all over my hands right now. Like, if you can see, like, it's so crazy this is the worst it's really all over my hands but this one is the worst and it's like so itchy and scaly and dry and gross and i just need to go and get some eczema cream like i have eczema cream for my body but i need to get some for my hands because we're always washing our hands and sanitizing our hands so i need like really good um I need really good cream. I'm actually just going to use my finger. It's pretty. And I'm just going to use this packing brush just to kind of get really close. And then I'm just going to take, go back into Dreamy and just go right back over the crease area because it got a little bit too shimmery. It's really pretty. I thought I was, I was expecting a little bit more, but it's more like a... So I'm like, pack it on. It's more like a shadow topper than like full-on pigment. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to go and... For my bottom lash line, I'm going to use Bliss, which, which is the shade right here. Holy cow. If you're going to use this palette, you need to do your eyes first because I have so much glitter. And then I'm just going to take, I'm going to take Rapture, which is this like, it's like a kind of nude but iridescently shade and i'm kind of going to use that as an inner corner highlight okay so that's too dark for a highlight so don't do that i'm just gonna have to put something over top later on but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then i will be right back so i finished the eyes and as you can see like this is what they look like you can see all the glitter fallout that I have on my face, um, but yeah. So, I mean, it was okay. I didn't obviously play with the whole entire palette. Um, this shade here is just more like a iridescent topper. It's not like full-on lilac pigment on the eye. Like, if you look up close, it looks like I just put a topper on my lid. Um, but it's really pretty. I think if you would put maybe like this shade down all over your eye and then this on top I think that would look really really pretty. This shade here I really really like as well as the shade that I used in my crease dreamy bliss um, beam They were all really nice colors. So yeah, I definitely would not repurchase this especially for $38 and eight shades I wouldn't repurchase it, but it is nice I guess in the box um, and then I just went ahead and finished my eyes. So I went ahead and used my Hyper Easy Maybelline like liquid liner um, for my wing. And then I used my Ciate London Wonder Wand Gel Coal Eyeliner in my waterline. 
and then for mascara i just use my huda beauty legit lashes i'm trying to just kind of get as much use out of it because it's soon about to expire and then for my lower lashes i use the believe beauty extended lash lengthening mascara not a fan on the top lashes but i do like how it looks on my bottom lashes so now quickly we are going to test the setting spray out so this is what it looks like it looks so summery okay let's see oh a little spitty a little spitty it has a little bit of a rosy scent but it's not overpowering to the point where you're like oh roses you know like i don't think it's overpowering at all my face does not feel um like tight or like weird or matted out it looks really pretty actually and like just feeling my face i don't know i feel like i don't have any makeup on at all and honestly it doesn't look like my bronzer is coming off so I need to like test this out. I need to do exactly what that girl did and test that out. But we will see with the mask, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna put some of this lip oil on. Let's see if my lips turn blue. This seriously reminds me of like a lip gloss I used to use when I was like in middle school. Oh, that was too much. This is a lip oil and not a lip gloss. Just remembered i feel like i just ate some very greasy chicken right now so i put way too much but anyways besides that mm, i need to blob some of this off i mean it looks good it does not look to me it doesn't look blue so i guess that's good um but yeah so that is everything guys the total of today's box was 134 dollars so I paid 25, 26 and change with tax, and the box was worth 134. So not mad about it. If you guys love makeup, skincare, I would definitely sign up for it. Bonus, if you have a BoxyCharm membership, you do get access to their add-ons like pop-up store online. Like everything is like I believe 60 to 80 percent off. Like it's ridiculous how much like high-end makeup. You can get at a super affordable drugstore sometimes less than drugstore prices so i'm always shopping on their pop-up shop like sort of thing on their website because that's how i get a lot of my high-end makeup like i get a lot of my high-end makeup for like twelve dollars four dollars six dollars so that's a bonus all right that is everything until next time guys bye